Let's start by saving everybody a look up here. Embodiment of Fury. Trample. Lands you control have trample. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may have target lands you control become a 3-3 elemental with haste. It's still a land. We've got Sylvan Advocate. We've got Explore. We've got Trackers, Coursers of Crufix, Search for Tomorrow. Embodiment of Insight. Lands you control have vigilance. God bless, God bless, God bless. And some quarter callings up here. So let's uh, let's do it, chat. Let's get on in there. Mr. Hello, thank you for the seven-month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. And then we've got uh, you are cute XD. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for uh, supporting mine this month. The shame we don't play Legacy anymore because I've been craving Spanish Inquisitioning. So, wannabe Beetle, the I had someone kick two of their tier three subs towards Legacy memes. Lufty, thank you for the three month resub there. I really appreciate that. And the day we do uh, the Vintage Belcher deck, I'm going to do Vintage Belcher and then Legacy Memes that day. So we're going to do, we're going to have a day of memes. A day of, actually, maybe we'll just do an entire Meme Monday of that. Maybe, maybe one of our Meme Mondays coming up will just be, that's probably what it's going to be. One of our upcoming Meme Mondays is going to be Vintage Belcher into Legacy Memes. I was like, set $80 on fire that day and I'll have to buy more tickets. My article on CoolStuffInc.com on Wednesday is going to be talking about how I would build Black Green Rock with four with four copies of Assassin's Trophy. Life's like a box of chocolates, chat. You never know when you're not going to draw a third land. Without Liliana the Veil. Yeah, I think so. I think there's matches where Liliana's not amazing. There's definitely a lot of matches where she's good too, though. But Shannon with the $5 donation. Starting off donations to play Belcher at SCG COD. Get out of here. That is not an option. It's my favorite song by Toto. Toto's African Vito. Thank you very much for the, the six-month resub there. Welcome back. Meme a Monday, or as other people would call it, dropping money in a dumpster. I think I'm gonna sneak Blazing Shoal Infect into the Meme Monday stream, though. So, like, that's not that's not an entirely terrible deck. We'll probably do... I think we're gonna do uh, Spanish Inquisition, Cheerios, Vintage Belcher, and then Infect Shoal Infect. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm talking about Legacy. Legacy and Vintage. So probably not next week, but the week after. We'll do a Vintage Legacy Meme Monday. Cheerios isn't entirely a meme. Check yourself. It is entirely a meme. Who thinks we'll draw a third? How many lands are in this deck, by the way? Who thinks we'll draw a third land in our 27 land deck this game, chat? Is it is it asking too much? That's, I love magic, and the resources in this game give you a lot of interesting deck building requirements. But the refreshing thing about playing like the Warhammer card game and Hearthstone, and I'm looking forward to an artifact, resource variance is miserable sometimes. Resource variance is really miserable sometimes. I'll take Dryad Arbor. I ain't I ain't greedy. We can cord for Dryad Arbor. You are not wrong. Oh, magic. You'd think we were playing three land Belcher with these games.
This hit four lands. Wow, it only hit two. All of our hands are slow, Malv. All of our deck is slow and clunky. All of all of our hands are slow. Fast fast hands don't exist for us. Yeah, sower is weird. Mavoli Acid Moss, make a 1-1. One -one. Your move, Yugi boy. Oh, they just reassemble Tron right away. It just doesn't matter. Opponent's drawn almost as many lands as we have. Yep. Can you play a card that makes me concede yet? Is that beatable? That might actually be beatable, right? Might be able to get in a position to race this. We've got what? 10, 16. And these are each plus two. We've got 20 power in play here. You get to concede to Ulamog, which is nice. <laughs> oh, magic. Nine months of Hugo shills and memes. I think it's time to start submitting my own. Death Eater, thank you for the tier three sub. I appreciate that. Remember, tier three subs are exempt from the slowdown. So you can, uh, you can uh, submit a deck through the normal forum to add a new deck to the queue or if there's something already in the queue that tickles your fancy i'm happy to push that up a good amount and you can just whisper me that thanks and welcome back do, 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 do. The Belcher deck was very bad. Very, very bad. To set the bar even super lower, it was worse than the seven land Belcher deck that we've played in the past. Put these towards any Tron deck in the queue. You're a monster. I think we're actually playing Tron tomorrow, speaking of. I think it was the top, uh, yeah, green Tron's at the top of the queue for tomorrow. It just didn't qualify for today. Yeah, it could be Ad Nauseam, could be, uh, could be Control. I play a couple of Temple of Enlightenment in the blue white Control deck we played. Uh, the Grixis Silver deck list in the queue is mine. We played it a couple of times on stream now. I added it to my website recently also. I was actually going to write about Grixis Delver this week for cool stuff, but with the green black card getting spoiled, I should probably just write about that. Uh, look at the list on my website, uh, Benok. That's, uh, that's not in there anymore. Is the one in the queue old? Yeah, that, that list is not accurate. There's an accurate list in the queue now. Yeah, the Mardu deck list we're going to add to the website later. Whatever that deck was called. Um, I'm blanking on its name. The Mardu Ponza deck.
This gives it haste, right? Yeah, it does. Yes, please. The classic haste trample dryad arbor here. Incatastin Trophy to replace uh, Abrupt Decays or Pass. I might, I might replace both, honestly, as you know. I might just, like, play the full four of those. I did yet. I have an Ad Nauseum. Probably did soon. How much do I attack for next turn? I'm attacking for four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, this is actually, I'm actually attacking for lethal, right? The six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm actually attacking for lethal. Deal. Nice. Nice sweet beatdown draw here. Could you imagine if we had a if we had a Sylvan Advocate in play? So they need Angel's Grace here or they're dead. C. Harrison with the brand new Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And the Gunner's Dream. Thanks for shipping your Beza Bucks this way this month as well. And there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch, folks. Thanks for supporting my work here. So, do you have another Angel's Grace or a land plus a... What's it called? They have a land plus a friction on life. Never not dead. Um, it's an ancient grudge matchup. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just have these at the top end to be aggressive with. If we play a fetch, don't we attack with one more land? Sure, but attacking with one more land didn't do anything. I was already attacking for 14. So attacking for more than 14 doesn't accomplish anything, Mulv. Does this deck want Noble? I don't think so. Um, because you're playing Sylvan Advocate and these other things that trigger on land drops, I think you want your ramp to actually just be getting lands. So that way they like all everything forward your primary game plan, basically. It's like have a cohesive, cohesive together. See if we can brick on our third land and die again here in our 27 land deck. Okay. Damping Sphere, like, isn't a slam dunk in this matchup, but it does slow them down a reasonable amount, so we're definitely playing it out here. Yeah, yeah, we put in the one because of Angel's Grace. I attacked for 14. Something that slows us down. Start with this. Uh, if we hit, uh, if we hit two lands next turn, we can actually, actually get these Dryad Arbors pretty swole. Sylvan Advocate will power up. Oh, I didn't bring in a Rex Sage, did I? Yeah, I should bring in the Rex Sage. That should definitely be in. I don't think the dedicated artifact destruction is good enough, but ways to destroy enchantment seems fine. Why 
27 lanes later. Bing. It's really unfortunate. <sighs> Guess it ends up working out to being a pretty similar clock. We're going to be dead to add Ozium next turn. Because with Frexine on life, it only makes their, their combo cost one more mana. Death Mark. Rude. Land on top, please. Sting. This puts them to an even, an even zero. Which means they're dead next turn if they don't have us killed. Am I dead yet? Sweet. Got some five five arbors here. That doesn't do it, opponent. Bye, friend. They're going to die on their upkeep. During the cleanup step? I can't remember if they lose on cleanup step or upkeep. One of the two. Definitely want this Rex Sage. I'm going to trim embodiment. Yeah, I'm going to trim embodiment. It should be clean up. That's good to know. It's good to know. These boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. It doesn't really do anything, right? Like, there's no ramp in it. I'm gonna keep this on the draw in my 27 land deck. <sighs> Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles, chat. I think on the draw with a scribe at hand is keepable. Had a lot of things that we were interested in doing in it. Yeah, right? Why do we keep losing? So, Magic has this very barbaric system where there's a majority of games where one player just never plays because of how the resource system works. Unfortunately, and this is this is a deck that should have less of those issues than most, and we are experiencing a good... Good chunk of them, because that's how variance by design works sometimes. Sometimes you just don't actually get to play a game. Well, so much for playing Dryad Arbor on one. Emo Robot Gaming, re-upping for the fourth month in a row. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate that. Thanks for the third of the year. All right, budget burn. Budget burn actually makes the Grim Lava Mancer worse against us because it uh, has less fetches and stuff.
Joined the MTG finance community speculating on any new cards. This deck would love a Green Sun Zenith. But honestly, it's a good thing Wizards keeps Green Sun banned because we wouldn't want this deck to become oppressive, right? It would just be, would just be too, too gosh darn strong if we had... We'd, we'd decimate opposing elementals if we had Green Sun Zenith. Bugler's probably better than Tracker in Counter's Company because it finds your combo pieces. Yeah, Budget Burn doesn't have fetch lands, so they can't usually play Searing Blaze because uh, you don't have the lands to trigger the landfall consistently enough with it. Yeah. Yeah, this deck's probably just a little bit too slow and clunky. So we block here, obviously. Yep, believe it or not, my green red deck doesn't have a counter spell. It's weird, I know. It's really weird. I have uh, zero cards to sideboard in. I, uh, I don't know that I have it in me to play another league after these last two decks, so. I think, uh, if we die here, this is probably going to be it, and I'm going to get my article wrapped up. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Always remember that if you're looking for more Hoagland content after I click the sign-off button, you can find lots of that on my YouTube channel as well as my website, jeffhoagland.com. We need to we need to build some tickets back up tomorrow with decks like decks like Tron. This is, we played a lot of decks today. Okay, I started early, and this is like the sixth deck we've played today. We played two okay decks today. We just had two really bad ones back to back here. Uh, the Mardu Panza deck, as well as the Summoner's Egg deck, were both really sweet. If you haven't um, if you haven't seen. If you didn't watch the Summoner's Egg deck, that one's definitely getting added to my website. It was a good time. This hand's going to make its third land drop, which is nice. Not all of our hands have done that today.
Summoner's Egg straight up better than Clone Shell. I don't know what Clone Shell does offhand. All right, Searing Blaze me. Searing Blood me. I'm off it. All right, folks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day. We've been going for almost six hours here since I started early. We fit in some extra ones. They were, they were pretty rough. Um, I'm gonna hit publish on Mardu land destruction as well as um, Mardu land destruction as well as uh, everything else we played today, including the Summoner's Egg deck. Very soon, you'll be able to find those on my YouTube page, youtubecom forward slash Jeff Oakland. If you prefer Twitch to pre-recorded content, I'm going to give someone a host here really quick that's still playing Modern, so don't go anywhere.